Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, how are you today? I'm happy. Oh, good to hear. Okay, what did you do? I'm going to school to homework. Oh, you did your homework today? Yes. Oh, all of it? Are you finished? I'm finished. Oh, good job. That's good to hear. Okay, and also, can you tell me about the weather for today? Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. how is the weather? It's... Weather is... Cloudy. Cloudy? Cloudy. All right. Cloudy and... And... Sunny? No. <laughs> cold? No. Sunny, not sunny. Oh, all right. So only cloudy and cold. Am I right? Oh, it's mm -hmm. a little bit cold today. Okay. Well, all right. Are you finished eating dinner? I'm finished eating dinner. Good. What is for dinner tonight? Yeah. What did you eat for dinner? I eat dry meat. Rice oh. and meat. Oh, that is a good food to eat during cool weather. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, today we are going to continue to study your book. So just wait. Let me share. All right. There you go. Can you see your book? Yes. Okay, so in here, we're going to uh, learn about the prepositions and how to use them in a sentence, okay? So I'll just make it bigger. Now, can you please read the sentences? My hair is opposite school. Opposite. Opposite the school. The cafe near the bank. When you're going, the car above the TV, my back below the star. Bears. It's near the park. Okay, that is for the, and uh, that is the answer for where's your school. Yeah, so the, you can, can you also see the prepositions there, the highlighted words? Like we have opposite, right? Opposite. We also have near, um, above, below. Okay. So all these words in a highlighted form are called prepositions. Okay. To locate things. This is to add um, a sentence for us to know where's the location or where is the thing placed, okay? That is for prepositions, okay? So opposite, do you know what's opposite? Like, yeah, do you know what is it? Yeah, for example, this is your house. Mm. This is your house. Okay, let's just say this is your house. Example only. And this is the school right here. Okay, the school. So it's opposite, right? This is the road. Okay, now the, the house is opposite to the mm -hmm. school. Yeah. Okay, when you say near, Cafes, the cafes near the bank, so they are close to each other, okay? That is near, okay? When you say above, you know what's above? The cat's above the TV. So what does it mean? Above, it's up, right? Uh -huh. Below is? Below no, is... What do you mean by below? Do you know what below is? Below is down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, we have there the question, where is your school? So we say 
It's near the park. It's near the park. Okay, do you understand the use of prepositions? Yeah. Okay, now let's look and complete the sentences. Oh, wait. Let's start. The sofa is... Okay. The sofa is... Look at the picture. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. um, is it above? Look at the sofa and the painting is here. The no, paint. no, mm -hmm. no. Okay, you can change your answer. Below. Okay, that is correct. Now, can you read the sentence? The sofa is? Uh, it below the painting. Very good. Well done. All right. What about number two? Number two, the sofa is? Uh -huh. Okay. No, so TV. Opposite. Yeah, opposite. opposite the TV. Okay, that is also correct. This is the sofa and this is the TV. Yes. Number three, the clock. The clock is... Okay, can you read the sentence? The clock is above the TV. Above is correct. Above. Yeah, definitely. Next. The baby is... The baby is near the table. Yeah, very good. It's near the table. Or the baby is near the table. Very well done. Okay, now you know how to use the prepositions. Okay, and I guess you don't have any questions, right? Yes. Yeah, let's go to going to plus the infinitive of purpose. Okay, let's read the sentence that's in the box. Where are you going? Um, I'm going to the shop to get some milk. Okay, next one. going? He is going to the flower shop to buy some flowers. I'm going to the pool. 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 To go swimming. He going to the station to take a train. Yeah. All right. Very good. So we have there going to. The word going to plus the infinite I'm sorry infinitive of purpose okay so let's say for example I'm going to the shops to get some milk another one he's going to the flowers to buy this is the purpose right why did he or let's say why did she go to the flower shop mm -hmm. to to buy some flowers 
And we have here, I'm going to the pool. Why, why are you going to the pool? To go? To go. Swimming. To go swimming. Another one. He's going to the station. Why is he going to the station? To? To take a train. Train. Exactly. That is what... Uh, how or that is how rather um, going to plus infinitive of purpose is used in a sentence okay now i want you to try to make a sentence okay like this one in the box can you try you try to make a sentence Yeah, you may try. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the supermarket to buy the pizza. Oh, that is correct. Very good. <laughs> okay, good job. I am going to. Yeah, all right. Good job. That is a good sentence. Okay, perfect. All right, now I guess you already know how to make use of it. Let's go to complete the sentences, okay? Can you try I'm, it? I'm going to the... Where are you going to play tennis? I'm not playing tennis. Ah, uh, yeah. But, yeah, let's try to complete the I'm sentence. Not tennis. That's very hard. <laughs> yeah, and it's very tiring. Yeah, you just try. Just try to, you know, guess the answer. Hmm. I don't answer. Hmm. Okay. Let's try to see where you're going to play tennis. Okay. So. Yeah. We usually play tennis in a tennis court. Right? Okay. So, to the tennis court to play, play tennis. tennis. 
Okay, number two. Number two, she going to the. She going to the library to get a. Mm. Correct. Okay, please write down. Yeah, library is correct. Okay, do you want to write it down? Yeah, I don't. Ah, okay. Library is this one. She's going okay. to the library to get a book. Number three. We're going to the bus stop. Oh, two. Bus. Okay, bus. Stop to wait for a bus. Number four. Dad going to the bus to Bad. get some. Correct. And five. They are going to the mountain to see a friend. Again? Where? What was it again? Where are they going? Mountain? Hmm. No. To see a film. Do you know what's a film? Like a movie. Where do you usually watch a movie? At or to the? Mm. Okay. It's a cinema. Mm. I see. Yeah, this is where you watch films or movie, right? No, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, anyway, I'm happy that you know some of the words or, yeah, to on how to fill out of some missing words. That is perfect. Okay, anyway, let's go to the next part. Um, using was and were, okay? When do we use was? We use was if the pronoun is I, it, he or she, right? I, it, or he or she. That is when you use was. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, we use were when you use a pronoun you, we, and... Zai. That's right. Now I want you to read these sentences. Now please read. I was. I was really tired last night. Okay, another it, one. It was quiet in the classroom. Okay. You were very angry. We wasn't at school today. She was my friend. They were very happy to see us. She wasn't very happy. Huh? Okay. Reason. Yeah, they were very happy to see us. And. Okay, now I want you to make or try to make a sentence using was or were, okay? All right, you try, you try it. Yeah, you try. 
Mm. Yeah, you may just put it there. Mm. Okay, any sentence that you like to make? Mm. Okay, take your time. That is correct. Wait. Oh, he was very happy. Hmm, that's right. <laughs> okay, although it's a simple sentence, but okay, the use of the word is correct. Okay. How about we use were or weren't? Were mm. or weren't. Yeah, you try it. Oh, she weren't sad. Hmm, mm. is it? Yeah, is it right to use weren't for the pronoun she? Mm -hmm. I guess we will not use weren't for she. Okay, you try, you try to use again. You'll just use were for you. 
we and they. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the current. They weren't happy is, yeah, that is now correct. Okay, they weren't is a correct answer. Okay, now let's proceed to writing was or were in the sentence. Okay, let's try it. My grandfather, My grandfather was a teacher. Yeah, correct. Next. I was very sad. Exactly. Next. My dad is called wet pink. My dad's oh dad is only one. My dad was called one pink. Was is correct. Was pink. Then we at the party. We were okay. Five. Then Anthony was scared of the octopus. Of the octopus, exactly. Okay, good thing that you already know how to use. Yeah, how to use the um uh, was or were. Okay, that's a good job. Okay, yeah, you have, do you have any question about and how to use it? Mm. Any questions? No, any questions? No, okay. So uh, once again, for today, we learned about was or were. Okay, look at here, was or were. We also learned about going to plus the infinitive of purpose like i'm going to the shop to buy some clothes okay so that's how we use it and we also learned prepositions right what are the prepositions again opposite near uh, above and above and below exactly Okay, so that is for the prepositions. Okay, do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Okay, it seems that you understand what's, what is it all about. Okay, so thank okay. you for tonight and see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.